Hello, it's Paul from SaltCreeklife.com. Now, as many of you have noticed on my website, on uh, Twitter, Facebook, I've mentioned the fact my wife got me a banjo for Christmas. This prompted emails from numerous people from the Midwest to Australia wanting me to make a video of me playing the banjo. What I failed to mention, I guess, is I don't know how to play the banjo. I did ask for one for Christmas, and I've been asking for one for several years. So I'm happy to get it, but I actually, I'm in the process of learning how to play it. I'm a guitar player, not a great one, pretty average guitar player to tell you the truth. And uh, there's some differences between playing guitar and a banjo, and that's what I want to show you today. Now one of the most obvious differences between a guitar and a banjo is the shape. This has a nice place to rest on your leg, stay still. A banjo is a little more difficult to hold on to. Another difference, pick guard. You'll notice a pick guard on a guitar. Guitar pick, pick guard. Keeps you from uh, scratching your guitar all up, which is a pretty nice little guitar. I would want to scratch it up. But as you rub the, you rub the uh, pick guard, you notice hardly any noise. So whenever you're beating on a guitar and playing around, it really doesn't make a difference what you do with your hand here. You know, you can kind of move it around, hit, hit it with your pick, whatever. On a banjo, not the same, much like a snare drum. If you move your fingers around on top of the banjo, you get a sound like this. So it's obvious that's going to take a little getting used to. The next main difference in a banjo and a guitar is the number of strings. A guitar has six strings. And if you look at the tuning pegs up here, one, two, three, four, five, six, six strings on a guitar. A uh, typical banjo has either four or five strings. I imagine the four string was the older one. Uh, it's used in more classical music. Five strings played the blue. The five string is used to play bluegrass. And the bottom string is actually tuned the same as the top string. I'll get the banjo out and explain this to you here in just a second. Um, really, that's the main differences between the guitar and the banjo. Uh, guitar's hollow sound comes out through the hole. Banjo has this metal frame. Uh, the old style banjos didn't have a sounding board. Uh, this one does. I notice it's wood on the back. And uh, the sound comes back out much like a guitar does except for it comes out around the outside here where these holes are. Okay, now like I said, I'm not a banjo picker. I'm actually using a guitar pick here, uh, which is incorrect. But I have something to show you. I can play the intro to say, dueling banjos. I know, I said I didn't know how to play the banjo. I don't. Actually, it's rough and I don't know how to play the banjo and I, I can explain this too in a second. I have lots of things to explain. See, on a guitar it would sound a little more like... Uh, There's a difference, you can tell. It sounds like the classic uh, dueling banjos does, but how am I able to play it on a guitar and a banjo at the same time? There's a secret, and it lies in the banjo that I asked for for Christmas. There are one, two, three, four, five, six strings on this banjo. It is tuned as a guitar is tuned. So I can play it the same as I would a uh, guitar. And uh, most guitar players, or excuse me, most banjo players, consider this cheating. They call this a banjo guitar, um, and I can't blame them because it's uh, it's tuned the exact same as a guitar. It's six strings, just like a guitar is. And uh, with that in mind, I've decided to try to learn how to play the banjo in an actual bluegrass style. So let me 
do some rigging here and I'll be right back. Okay, I retuned the banjo to what can best be described as a standard banjo tuning, even though it's a st six string banjo. Uh, it's an open tuning, an open G, for an open G tuning on a six string guitar, or on a six string banjo, you could use it on a guitar, is D, G, D, G, B, D. So once again, your bottom string is tuned to a D, and it leaves you uh, some extra playroom there with your top two strings. I'm going to try to play not using those strings, but you'll notice I have one thing on that gives me more trouble than anything else, and that is my Freddy Krueger picks. I am used to using a guitar pick. These do not fit my style, but they give you the bluegrass sound that you want. And that's where I'm going to have to work, is getting this hand to work with these fingers and getting these fingers to hit the ones I want. Uh, forward and backward rolls, there are all kinds of tricks I need to learn to actually play a bluegrass banjo. But so the bluegrass enthusiasts don't get mad at me, I'm going to attempt to play this within a year the same way a banjo player would play it. Here. It's, it's just not something we used to do. But we'll get there. Thanks for watching.